Hey guys, it's Channel Night Paladin, and welcome to Inktober 2016, and I believe this is the 6th video in the series, and this video covers day 21 until day 24, and you can just check out the playlist on my channel if you, if you want to see the ones before this. So right, for day 21, I decided to go landscape and orientation, just to mix things up, and because I wanted to do this pose that is kind of stretched or stretching in her arm and I had a lot of difficulty trying to figure out the perspective of the other arm that's behind the one in front. Yeah. <laughs> So I've been playing around lately with how the body twists because usually I just they're not very twisty when I draw them. Um, but now I'm playing around more with how it looks like when the body is slightly turned or when it's slightly sideways and etc etc. So that's what I've been doing for the past few days. <laughs> Also sorry if my audio is a lot louder and more noisier than usual. This is because I couldn't find the thing that I used to buffer the mic. And somewhere here, probably buried under something, but I couldn't find them right now. And I'm in a certain hurry today to do the recordings and the editing. Also, for today, I ended up having to record all the audio on the same day, mainly because I forgot to record the audio for the past three days. So, today's the 24th, and I'm rushing a bit. Cause I need to go out. I hope I'll be ed I hope I'll be able to edit by the time I need to go out. So stick around for day twenty two. Yeah. Okay, for day twenty two, I decided to do a close up shot of a face, still anime style, and I really didn't have much. In, I didn't really have a lot planned out for this day. I just wanted to draw a face, line it, and even the coloring came in as an afterthought. So it was a pretty chill day. One thing I do want to learn how to control is how not to make mistakes or keep my hands steady when I'm making the lines thicker. Because usually what I do is I draw the lines pretty thin or with the same pressure more or less. And then I just go back in to make some of the lines thicker. But sometimes that leads to a lot of bumps and wiggly lines that really shouldn't be there. So I want to learn how to control my hand when thickening the lines, which is kind of hard to be honest. I don't know why it's so hard. For the colors, I chose colors that I don't really usually use, um, which is a green and browns and reds, but I chose green for today. I'm using the Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens to color it in with your Inja ink. And now that I look at it, this color scheme really looks like Link 
from Legend of Zelda. Oh, and one thing I did try today was that I used a different color to shade in the hair, which is pretty interesting. Um, I usually don't do that, but it, it, it turned out nice, I think. Okay, for day 23, um, it took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do. Um, I don't know what pose, I don't know what I wanted to do at all for that day. And then I had the idea of googling model poses and a lot came up so I just kind of referenced that and copied the pose and then just spice it up however I wanted to spice it up. I might leave a link in the description of the picture that I referenced off just for well credit purposes so just check there because right now it's not I have to look for it again Hopefully, I'll be able to find it again on Google. I had a lot of fun though since I don't really draw in this kind of pose a lot. So it was really um, challenging but not too hard, not too frustrating. I was originally gonna use a thinner fine liner that was colored. And then I found out my color blue fine line I didn't have any ink anymore. So I went with the Faber Castle Pit Artist Pens again. And they can be used for lining, but since they're a bit thick, um, using them on really thin or um, small details isn't super advisable, but I wanted it anyway. Originally, I was just gonna leave it blank like this, just a little bit of shadowing by through the line art and by the pit artist pens, but I decided to add in a little bit more dimension anyway. And then for some odd reason, I decided to fill in the background again. I don't know why, just for the past two days, I've been just wanting to add a little bit more background to stuff. For the final segment, which is today, finally we got up. Um, well, not really caught up since I've been doing it every day anyway. Recording wise, I got caught up. So for day 24, well, apparently you can see my screen a bit. Oh well, doesn't matter. Um, I decided to draw one of my characters again. He was in the previous video, um, the, my original character from Source of Chaos. But I wanted to draw him more detailed, or at least his face is better drawn out because that was a small piece and I wanted to draw his face basically. So this is fairly quick. I think I finished this within 30 minutes. Um, from sketching to lining to, well, thickening the lines since I didn't really color it today. It really just took me 30 minutes and then that is really quick. Usually I take one hour to finish a piece. But I guess because it was relatively simple and there were really a lot of details to work on. But I was surprised that I finished something in 30 minutes. Because I... I set up my little recording studio, not really, my desk. I set, I set up my desk for recording at around 7.50 and that includes all the little things I need to do with my phone camera and clearing the desk and getting YouTube on so that I could watch stuff while I'm drawing. So I usually start at 8 if I feel like it. And then usually I end around 9 or 9.30, 9 
but I ended at 8.30 today, so it was kind of surprising. So anyway, we're nearing the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please stick around because I'll be previewing this piece. And then after that, I'll be showing all the pieces that I did for the day. <coughs> Excuse me. And, right. So, this is day 21, which takes up the entire screen. Day 22, 23, and the odd one out for this video, the not colored one, 24. Follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, DeviantArt, like and or subscribe, and I'll see you around.